<laughs> Sounds interesting. What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. The Hurricane Heist was directed by Rob Cohen and stars Maggie Grace, Toby Kimmel, and Ryan Quantin. It's all about these bank heists who robs the U.S. Treasury out of one of their outposts during a hurricane. Sounds interesting, huh? Well, okay, first of all, I'm not going to down this movie completely. I still liked it for what it was. But I'll get to why that is. First of all, the characters, some of them was a little boring. I couldn't really get into it, especially the main actor, Toby Cabell. For the good guy, it just doesn't didn't seem like he knew how to act. Maggie Grace, she was okay. I liked her better in the Taken movies, but oh well. Ryan Quantin as the main character's brother. He was fair, but like he didn't he had screen time. But he wasn't like the main part of it. He was more of like a damsel in distress, sort of. Nevin Howie's editing wasn't bad. It wasn't too choppy. You got those fast action cuts in some of these movies. And the action sequences, it wasn't all that bad, actually. I gotta give this movie that because like during the action sequences, it actually knew how to cut and when to stay. Like, it knew not to, like, cut away real fast. Like, these other movies, like Taken 2 and 3 and Mile 22, they cut away a little too much with each action scene when they didn't even need to. So, I, I think in this movie, they actually knew what they were doing editing-wise. Shelley Johnson's cinematography work was pretty good. It was... It was lit up just right. Of course, it was a rainy atmosphere. They were doing everything during a hurricane, a Category 5 hurricane, mind you. The writing and direction was okay. Speaking of the director, Rob Cohen, who also did the first Triple X and the first Fast and Furious, I just feel like he hasn't had a good break since The Mummy, since the last Brandon Fraser version of The Mummy. And I think that's why, because ever since then, and it's been a decade now since that happened, he'd just been going downhill. And he hadn't had a good movie to do in a while, in a long time. This is definitely depressing to me because back in his day when he made the first Triple X and Fast and Furious, he was the bomb. I mean, I'm telling you, he, he knew how to make a good action movie. I guess it's just one of those things that bad luck befalls everybody. And unfortunately, bad luck for him has been nonstop ever since 2008. And that's really sad because I really like his filmmaking. But now, he does these really cheap movies that doesn't even hit theaters everywhere. To see the Hurricane Heist, I had to go like 40 miles to an hour out of my way to actually see it. They wasn't even playing it in my theater. But Rob Cohen, he, he, was, he was the man back in the day. But I think doing the mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, pretty much caused that. Because there was no need for that one at all. And I think because of that, people hated on that movie so much that the director got shamed by it. Like I said, he'd just gone downhill ever since. Lorne, or Lauren Balfey's score was done pretty well for what this movie was trying to tell. It had that tense feel to it. Every time the characters would go out in the hurricane and try to shoot each other and stuff, he gave it that really tense feel and I liked that. The pros, it was an interesting concept. I loved the idea of this bank heist going down during the middle of a storm of a hur of a category 5 hurricane. When I watched the trailer for this, I was psyched. It was it was a really good concept, but when I actually watched it, it it just could have been so much better. The cons, some of the acting in it like I mentioned before, it, it wasn't all that good. They could have picked better actors. On the way down to the theater seeing this, I was thinking in my head, "Oh, this is going to be another twister like the one with Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt." Unfortunately, far from it, because that movie actually captured what it actually feels like to be in a tough situation where you're in a really bad storm and there's no escape. Plus, some of the special effects in this movie, it was, it was kind of cheesy. There was one scene where the main characters was hanging out by ropes being flung everywhere and not a scratch on them. Mm. 
yeah, like that happens. Ever. Plus the main villain, it, I, I just felt like he was overacting a little bit. And he wasn't really that intimidating to me. It, this movie just felt like a big cash grab. It was a box office bomb, which I, I can't really blame people. It was made on a budget of around 35 to 40 million dollars. It only made six to 16 million dollars. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm betting the studio pretty much threw in their storm towels after that. <laughs> My final thoughts on it, it wasn't bad bad. It wasn't horrible. Like I said, it was a good, interesting concept for a movie of this magnitude. It just could have done better and I just, I really wish they would have picked something better for Rob Cohen to do. It really could have been something. It could have been like a Twister 2 or something like that. It is what it is. It was definitely no Twister, folks. It wasn't that memorable. I'm giving the Hurricane Heist a C. Hope you liked this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for those of you who did. If you like this video, like, subscribe, get reputized. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Peace to rip out.